Hey internet, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul video for you. I actually have quite a few haul videos to do, but I figured I would actually split them all up because I felt like otherwise we'd be here for literally an hour and it would just be overkill. And I think I'm going to schedule them out a little bit so that it isn't just haul video, haul video, haul video, one after another. I don't know if anyone would be interested in seeing that. So I'm gonna space them out a little bit. About 80% of what you'll see in the next say two months haul videos content is gonna be stuff I bought for my US trip. Be sure to check those out they'll be coming over the next two months or so but the first one I wanted to film was the stuff that I bought from a place called Brick Art or Blick Art Blick Art materials so this was actually a store I went to in New York City I was looking for different arts and craft shops just because in Australia we do have a few I always felt that in America that you would have more variety and it would be cheaper I was it's kind of surprised that's not necessarily the case. These were definitely cheaper because they were on sale at the time. So I got like a discount on everything. But anyways, everything I'm going to show you in this particular video is watercolor related. If you've been following my bullet journal videos, then you know that I've gone really hard on the watercolors. I'm loving it so much. Um, I've been watercoloring for a long time. Actually, I'm going to just, so I'm going to tear this back because it's just so long. There you go. Um, these are all like the individual watercolors that I picked up and I got a couple other things on the side here But I've been really on my watercolor game recently. I've always loved watercoloring I used to do it. I still do it actually in my Hobonichi Techo like a six planner, but it's really just more of a Thing to help with my anxiety and just kind of relax. I got a couple of ones from Winsor, Winsor Newton and this one is from the cult Cotman line, which is the more, uh, I think this is more for students. To be honest, I am not a watercolor expert at all. So even though I think these ones here are meant for maybe more professionals, um, I see no difference at all. I've mostly gotten these because these particular colors are not available in the Cotman line, which is what I find a lot cheaper. This is way, way cheaper. And let me tell you, watercolors can get really expensive. So this one I've gotten the Ceru... I don't know. I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to pronounce everything, but it's this one here and I already have a small tube of this, but I use this a lot um, because I love the shade of blue. So I decided to get a bigger version and then here I decided to get a few extras. Um, we have a lighter blue color here. I think I'm just going to describe them. That's probably best. Um, a light purple, a darker purple, and then sort of a pink. I think I have these, I think I have this one in the solid half pan, but I'm running out of it pretty fast, so I'm gonna top it up here. And then I decided to try something from a different brand, um, Senelia. I feel like I'm gonna like butcher the name, so maybe I shouldn't even try. Um, this was a royal blue color. I wanted to just try this brand. I've never tried it before, but I've seen a lot of great things online, so I figured I would give it a shot. So those are all my like wet watercolor stuff that I bought. And then on this side here, I purchased this, um, Daniel Smith. I don't own anything from Daniel Smith. I thought this would be a great little kit to get my feet wet. Um, it's a 15 pan set, but you only get six colors. And I thought it was so cute. I mean, look how small it is. I am such, such a big fan. I have not opened it yet. I am such a huge fan of little like pans because they're so travel friendly. These are the six colors that come into it. I think there were like three different types and this one was the cottage garden, the floral, and there was like two others, but I felt like these colors suited me best. I would actually be able to get some use out of them. So I've not opened this before. Okay, so this is kind of like, oh yeah, talks about the colors of the different, oh. Okay, when I was at Brick Art, there was only two others to pick from, but it looks like you can actually pick from quite a few. You've got the floral, there's the earth, desert, and mountain. You've got blues, and then on the flip side, you've got Sketcher, and oh, the ultimate mixing set, and then there's some another color inspiration. Wow, I didn't know they had so many. Mm. All right, so this is the size of the palette. It is so tiny. Let me show you the palette I normally use. This is the one from Winston Newton. As you can see, it's like rubbing out because I've used it so much. But yeah, this is for like a size comparison. It's so tiny, a little taller, but not as wide. A little harder to open. Okay, I got it. You have to push the corners up first, I think. There we go. All right, not, not hugely impressed with how hard it was to open, but these are all the colors here. First impressions, this feels doesn't feel as like, um, doesn't feel as good as the Winston Newton palette. It feels like, did I say a little cheaper maybe? I don't know, it feels 
like things are a little stiffer the lid was harder to open whereas this one it's like the lid is just so effortless it opens so easily and I've always thought about getting another one of these but then I wouldn't really I'm not really sure what else put in here because I feel like this has all my colors and then I actually put some extra colors here as well so the kit itself covers everything but I thought I would give this a shot I don't know not super impressed with the palette but maybe the paints will be amazing so I'll give these a shot and then the last item I got is a very big one it is this Sakura Koi palette I'm going to pull back a little bit so you guys can see everything so I have seen these palettes online for the longest time and I've never made the purchase because I just didn't know if I needed it or not and then when I saw it in person in Blick Art, and it was actually cheaper because the only place I've seen this where I would purchase it is Jet Pens but this is actually, it was actually a lot cheaper than Jet Pens at a normal price and then when you put the, I think it was a 10-20% discount, it was even cheaper so I thought I have to get this. Um, they do come in different sizes, I think they start at 12, 16, 18, something like that and they go all the way to 72. They had the whole range there but I didn't think I needed that many so I decided to just go with this one. Um, 48. I feel like 48 is a pretty good size and as you can see it was it's pretty hefty as it is and it was kind of weighty as well so having to bring this back to Australia I had to make sure I didn't have anything that was way too heavy so let's open it up and see what it's like. I'm so excited to try this out. I've been wanting to try this for so long now. Okay so the palette is obviously pretty big. It's definitely nothing like Winston Newton. And then oh it opens up really easily. Okay, and then we have the mixing palette here, which oh, you can detach. Cool. I guess you could, it has these like little things here, like little legs. So I guess you could stand it as a table on its own on the side, or you could slot it back here and then just have it on the side attached to your um, palette. But yeah, these are all the colors. Oh my goodness. So good. <laughs> I'm just like so excited. I don't I just want to try them all. Um, so it comes with your own watercolor pen here. Um, you have to assemble it. Yeah, you'll have to assemble it and then dismantle it if you want to store it like this. And then you have a bit of a sponge here as well. Um, yeah, this is the entire palette. I love it. The color's loose. I feel like the color... Should we try? Oh, I'm nervous. Ah. Uh, no. Okay, now I got a little bit of paint. Where did this come from? Sorry, it's just like a little chip of paint came off, but I think it was from this color. I think it's just chipped a little bit. Yeah, which is okay. Oh, there we go. So these are the colors. If you're curious about what they actually look like, they have them on the box here. So I think I might just cut out this card and leave it in here. I know a lot of people create like swatch cards, which they store with each of their palettes. That's something I've been wanting to do. I just haven't really gotten around to doing it yet, but I will at some point. So yeah. Basically any color you could think of, they have it here. I might use this for my next uh, bullet journal video, I think. I think that would be really good because I'll have all the colors I need and I can really test it out for that video. So yeah, be sure to check out my June bullet journal video. I'll make sure to use this palette for that one. But yeah, that is everything I got from Blick Art. I really hope you guys enjoy my whole video. Be sure to check out my upcoming haul videos for all the other items I bought. I will schedule them out and make sure that it's just not one after the other. Thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to the internet.